Okay, we're out here on Woodland Avenue, at Woodland Drive here in Gainesville. This is a three bedroom, one bath property, about 1,100 square feet on a full unfinished basement. We've got uh, board and batten on the outside and we've got no soffits, but these are all ventilated with screens in them. There's hardwood floors underneath the stairs. I mean, underneath the um, carpet throughout this home. Uh, this home's a little bit of a time capsule, as you can see, but um, a little opportunity here. They have a, a wall unit for the air conditioning up here. And I think the condensation has come down and, and pulled this apart down here, but the outside, I think just needs some painting. Um, back door here goes out to a small deck. Uh, the kitchen is rather dated. Wallpaper, you got some uh, linoleum or asbestos tile down here that would need to come up. Um, as we circle back around here, you can kind of get a better idea of the, the windows and the light fixtures. This is an old school table, which is awesome. Um, in any event, uh, we need new cabinets in here, new appliances, um, in any event. So, take you back to the three bedrooms. Ceilings look good. You got a pretty steep stairway here going down into the unfinished basement, which we'd have to redo the stairs. Um, coming into the side bedroom, you can see the hardwood floors down here. I'll turn the light on, but yeah, there we go. You can see a little bit better. Um, got a little bit of uh, cracking from age since this house was built in the 50s. Um, just a little bit here and there, nothing serious. The roof looks decent. Uh, you've got some water damage up here from sometime long ago. It's not moist right now, but uh, the bedrooms are straightforward. There's hardwoods underneath here. You've got your windows, wall units. So the house has HVAC in it, but just does not have a condenser. So you'd need to run uh, a, a condenser for air conditioning into the house and tie into the existing um, duct work. So here's the master bedroom. Once again, it's got a wall unit up in the closet. Um, vaulted ceilings to some degree in here. It looks pretty good. You know, doorknobs and doors are in pretty good shape. Closet doors, they can use a little work. Obviously it needs painting. Here's your uh, <laughs> your bathroom from 1950. Um, I think just a coat, a coat of paint and we're in good shape here. What do you think? Um, in any event, I'll come back around. Got a window, all of your tile work. You could probably reglaze this tub, actually. That'd probably be what you'd do. And then just gut out the rest. Okay, some more, a little bit of moisture, I think, from the humidity that was in here. Um, down in the basement, the stairs are pretty steep, so I think they need to be redone. Put a landing down here at the bottom and a couple of stairs off to either side. You come downstairs, you do have some water in the basement, which I think is coming from a tree that's on the other side of this wall. Um... The old style fuse box. I've got pictures to go along with this. It'll be a little better. But here's the inside of the uh, the basement. The HVAC system is down here. And the water heater looks to be like a 40 gallon. It's relatively new based on the overflow tank. Um, so I think the systems are good. Looks like you've had some moisture issues down here at some point. So you probably need to encapsulate the basement. All this down here would be trashed out. Uh, you've got an actual one-car garage door to the back, but no real way of getting a car around the back because of some of the trees that have grown up over the years. So you could make it a shop pretty easily. You could partition this place out, make another bedroom down here. Heck, you could even put another bathroom. The water lines are accessible. I don't know if that's what you want to do, but you could potentially do that. Uh, there's your duct work that feeds up into the upstairs, so you could add your condenser and what have you. You've got a carport out front, carport, I'll take you out here, is screened in, so it's a nice little sitting area, but you can take the screening off and have your own um, you know, place to put your car. The roof line is a 12-2, uh, looks to be in fairly good condition, um, might want to check some of the flashing got to probably deal with some of this here. It looks like there'll be some lead-based paint here and there you got to deal with. This tree is a little close to the house. 
And this is what's preventing you from driving your car around the back. Backyard kind of tapers off. Here's the neighbor's yard. You can kind of see the angle that we're dealing with. Some trees to deal with back here. Decent sized lot. Needs some landscaping. Back of the house is in the shade most of the time. So you're seeing a little bit of topical mold from just no sunlight, which can be easily rectified. I wouldn't think you'd need to put a soffit in here, but here's the back door out of the basement and the garage door that we were talking about, which would need to be replaced. Uh, then this tree here has to go. It's just way too close to the house. And I believe this is what's causing the, the leak in the basement because of this, the root system pushing up against the, uh, the wall. Um, once again, I said there's some lead-based paint. I see that on the windows. These are the original windows. And I see the lead-based paint kind of flaking off there. So you probably need to replace the windows on this. Um, you can see there's the soffit. Uh, just the way they built it, there's an open soffit with all of those um, vent holes and they all have screens on them so you're not going to get any critters um front yards pretty well shaded a nice quiet street um chimney looks in good shape probably need to do an inspection on that but structurally the house looks good um probably need some new windows and some ac but in any event this is carson olinger from capital city equity group here on woodland drive in gainesville georgia you can reach us at 678-478-2230 or you can find us on the web at northatlantahomebuyer.com much like this gentleman did. Thank you.